what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl bruna happy makeup monday it is monday or it could be wednesday i have no idea sometimes i just be filming and i do not know what's going on i try to keep my stuff very raw okay guys a really quick shameless plug these are my nails can you guys believe these are actually press on nails these are from my brand nail talks i create my own and design my own and we even hand make these press on nails they last anywhere from two to three weeks on your nails with nail glue um also depends on how you prep your nails and they are reusable so if a nail does pop off you can just re-glue it and you're easy you don't have to deal with salon nails breaking you don't have to deal with sitting in a salon chair for two three hours to have amazing nail art like these these are designer inspired they're little louis vuitton inspired nails and you don't have to sit in the salon for three hours to get it done you could just put it on in 15 minutes they're reusable link is down below if you guys want to shop it so let's get into the video today today i am just trying out a bunch of products that i got in my pr i got a bunch of products from kylie skin and a bunch of products i have two boxes over here i will have to show you guys i have two boxes over here that i have a lot of pr in kylie skin actually sent me a bunch of stuff from kylie skin which i'm super excited to try and my skin is looking super super dry right now so this is why i have like little flakes right here down here as you can see because my skin's so dry it's bare I'm going to go ahead and put on the skincare. Let's go ahead and try and start with their lip mask. This is the Kylie Hydrating Lip Mask. It's kind of, it doesn't smell like anything. And it has, just like that. And it has this like this little picker thingy to keep it hydrating. I don't know what's in here. It doesn't say what's in here. Let's read this. It is, it just says hydrating lip mask. And then it says apply to lips for maximum hydration, obviously. But it doesn't really say like what's in it or is there anything in it so you don't have like real product knowledge on the packaging so i guess i'm just gonna oh it does feel good super hydrating real oily a little goes a long way you guys super hydrating we're gonna wipe it later on blend it in i like to really hit my corners because my corners are always so dry. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna use is a vitamin C serum that they have. So the hydrating lip mask was actually nice. I like how it feels on my skin. The packaging is really cute. I love the packaging, you guys. It's a very nice luxe packaging. It's not cheap at all. This is actually glass and it's pink and cute. Um, this one has a lot of information. It says vitamin C serum is packed with powerful ingredients that penetrate the skin to help brighten and improve overall skin health. Very cookie cutter explanation. Not bad. You know, like at least there's an explanation. I love vitamin C anything. So I'm here for it. So that's how it looks when you pump it out. It's just like this creamy, milky type of vibe. It does have a very vitamin C smell to it. And oh, it feels so good. It feels nice and soothe and good. I personally feel like because I'm 35, um, I feel like I'm a little bit too mature for this type of skincare. I have, I wear a lot more very skincare focused, but if you're somebody who just needs minimal skincare and you're just used to like the minimal skincare, then this is good for you. But I personally need something a little bit more anti-aging now i'm gonna go ahead and do their face moisturizer they have a face moisturizer as well this is a deeply hydrating daily moisturizer is suitable for skin to all skin types this formula conditions the skin for a soft to touch finish without any excesses oil it has oat and orange peel extracts help soothe and soften the skin while shea butter helps moisturize so as you can see it's like a very creamy consistency look at that consistency it's very very creamy as you can see okay so then it's like a really nice creamy consistency that's a lot i don't think you need that much but it definitely is hydrating so if you have dry skin i would oh i actually like that i wouldn't say as a nighttime but definitely a daytime like as a base for your makeup definitely oh i like how it looks it look, kind of gave me like a very instant refreshed hydrated look but without being super super greasy I like it guys it's not super greasy it went on really nice and refreshing i like that okay there's also an eye cream it came with an eye cream as well which i'm like intrigued it's a rev rev revitalizing eye cream the ultimate recipe for your eyes this unique formula contains a blend of caffeine green tea 
vitamin E and pomegranate extracts helps brighten, hydrate, and reduce puffiness. So it helps with reducing the puffiness. So I'm intrigued. So it just comes like this and it also has the whole, oh, you can like press it. Oh, you could press it and then you get this, which I'm here for. I love anything that does not require me to use my fingers. If I have to use my fingers, I lose interest. I always like to buy roll-on eye creams because I feel like this area is really sensitive and it's good to just use something that like glides really nicely. Okay, I would say the eye cream and the face cream I'm here for. Didn't really care for the serum that much. The serum was like whatever. Next thing is this Broad Spectrum SPF 40 face sunscreen. Okay, so I love that she came out with a sunscreen because sunscreen is so freaking important. You need to have sunscreen no matter what. So I'm just gonna pour it. Oh, it's like a, ooh, it's like a gel base. Look at that. It's a gel base, you guys, look it. It's like a gel base. It's clear and oh my God, I like that. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna use this. I talk so much shit about Kylie Cosmetics and skin sometimes, cause I just never feel like it's as appealing. I do like how clear this is and it just goes on clear and it's like a gel and you could just glide it on. Oh, I do like that. Okay guys, I would say I like this Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It does feel a little heavy on my skin, but I like that it's clear. Another one that I love to use is the Shiseido Clear Stick. I use this one all the time, it's my favorite. So I wanna compare the two and ingredients wise. This has, they both have very similar things. I still would probably go with this one because this one has like more products in it. And Shiseido has just been the expert in um, UV protection. They've never failed me, but I mean, I'm gonna use both. Why not, right? This came in PR, but I think it's good. They're both really good. The whole clear stick thing. I mean, some SPF versus no SPF, it does matter. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my brows and I also put on some P. Louise um, eyeshadow base. This is the P. Louise base. Um, this is Broomer 2 and it's just to get the shadows to show up more, but I, it does crease quite a bit. So you have to like press it out a lot. Okay guys, so Kylie Cosmetics also sent me some PR. This is the Kylie Jenner bronze palette. I feel like Kali Cosmetics maybe heard me. Maybe they heard me talking smack. It's really official because I got Kali Cosmetics PR in the mail and it's like everyone wants Kylie Cosmetics PR. So I felt really official and cool, but my reviews are always very 100% honest. You guys already know how I go. I keep it real always 100. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this bronze palette right here. It's basically their classic one that they have. I think it's really, really cute. Go ahead and test it out and see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this he met or he met color right there and i'm going to put that in to my outer corners right away i can see that the pigment is going to be pretty good so i have the shade he met into there and then i'm just gonna oh wow it's like very pigmented super super pigmented keep in mind it could be the p louise pal um base that p louise base it really does help with eyeshadow it kind of makes any eyeshadow look really really good and now I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep going. This is a Morphe 433 brush and I use it to blend my outer corners out. Oh no, but this is really nice. It is very, very nice. Guys, when I tell you these mattes are so pigmented and they're so milky and so good, it's not even a lie, it's so good. I haven't worn some good shadow in a long time. I'm excited that this is actually working out. So excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush and I'm gonna take this color bronzite and I'm gonna work it on only the outer parts of the crease. And it's like this really dark brown and I want it to just, wow, that's nice. I want it to just smoke out the outer corners. Just gonna press it on and then I'm just gonna blend it. When I work with my outer corners, I always like to press on the products just so it doesn't like go all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and take a Morphe 505 brush. This is a clean blending brush. 
and I'm gonna just blend these two shades together really well. There's actually two shimmery shades in this palette and I'm gonna use this one because it just looks gobbles, gold stone. I'm gonna use that one because there's not a lot of shimmer shades in here, which it's not a bad thing, but these shimmers look really pretty. And so we're just gonna apply that. Oh wow, this is like a really, the shimmer is nice. Oh my gosh, I really underestimated her shadows. I used to always say it looks like it's ColourPop quality. It's not, you guys. ColourPop is great. I love ColourPop, but definitely a different vibe. They're like a little bit more pigmented than ColourPop. Wow, that shimmer is nice. It's really nice. I haven't done my eyeshadow in forever, you guys. So I'm not going to do like the best work. I've been very much slacking on makeup lately. I have not been doing the best work because I haven't been wearing makeup. And I feel like you don't do it, you lose it type of thing. Like at least with eyeshadow, eyeshadow is such a meticulous process of makeup that you really have to just constantly practice to get it right. And um, I haven't been practicing at all. Okay guys, so I'm gonna move on to primer. I feel like I like how my shadow looks right now. It could have been a better job. Um, it looks just like, it's very easy, not crazy. I could have done a better job, I don't know. Am I really filling my shadow today? No, what's wrong? I feel like I need to clean my brushes really well. Okay, so today I also got this Tatcha Silk Canvas in the mail. This is also PR, you guys. Everything in this video is mostly PR. Um, if it's PR, I say it. If it's not, I don't say it type of thing. But you guys know, we always talk about this. Look at this packaging, you guys. This packaging is so luxe. Oh my God, look at the print. Wow, and you just like pull it out. I think anytime you have to pull something out, it becomes so luxe. And then it comes in this little sealed up packaging. Wow, literally opening it, you guys. And then look at that. Look at this luxe packaging. It is so gorgeous. Oh, it smells good already. The Tatcha Silk Canvas, woo! Okay, so I'm gonna use this as my primer today. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it on. Let's take it. I'm just gonna rub it and I'm just gonna kinda, oh, so it does blur. Okay, just rubbing my hands on it and just kinda like, I, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. Are you supposed to actually dig your hands? I'm not a fan of like, digging my hands in anything as you guys know but they make it so big where you kind of don't need to like dip in it so i'm here for that you could just wear this by itself you guys you could literally wear this by itself you don't even need to put makeup on top of it it's such a nice blurring effect wow look at what it did to the forehead okay Woo. this is nice Wow, you don't even need makeup. If you're like someone that wants, this is definitely a no makeup day, just moisturizer and nothing on the face. Like this is really good. Ooh. For foundation today, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. This is also one of my favorites. I'm trying to finish this bottle so I can give my final review on it. Oh so good though for concealer i'm gonna go into my fenty beauty concealer this is in the shade 310 you guys know i love this concealer i love this the concealer and i love the stay naked concealer we're just gonna go in i like to keep the concealer really thick on the inner corners because that's where i feel like i have the most discoloration the correcting wouldn't be such a bad idea right now i'll just go in over here with my Maybelline Orange. Most of my color correcting needs to be done here in my chin area. As you can see, it gets really ashy. Once you color correct, it just evens out. I'm just gonna go ahead and press that out. And then I'm gonna put some foundation on top of it. Just to make it blend in seamlessly. See, it just automatically makes the color more, less ashy and very balanced. 
I don't know why I always forget that step. It's the results are so good. Because I do my makeup on camera, you can't visibly see my dark spots and I don't see them when I'm doing my makeup on camera. So I guess that's why I forget to do it. But in person, you can see my dark spots. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color Tiger Eye and I'm gonna put it on to my under eyes. Just gonna go ahead and brush this into my under eye. Okay guys, so it's time for me to do my popular step, which is my translucent powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier powder and brush that underneath my eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Hoola bronzer. This is in the shade Caramel, you guys. It's a lot more of a bronzy shade. The Hoola is a little bit more cooler tone and I feel like the Caramel is a little bit more warm. I'm just gonna just use that to bronze up my skin. Doesn't matter fall or winter, I love a good bronze. Hey guys, so for blush today, I'm gonna go in with this MAC color. It's Warm Soul. I feel like, did they change the formula on this? But it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's just like a really nice terracotta peachy vibe. And I love it, so pretty. Well, for highlighter, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Kylie Lighter, the, Ky the Kylite. So I also got this in my PR and I was like, okay, I've seen it all over the internet. So I really want to try this. It's nice. It's a little glittery, but it's not like intense glitter. It's nice, but it's not my shade. This is Sunday brunch. It's a little too light for me, but it's good. It reminds me of, yeah, it's a bit too shimmery for me something that melts into my skin a little bit more. I feel like it emphasizes my texture a bit much. So I'm gonna have to say that I'm not a big fan of that highlighter. I also got these lip kits in Mind Your Business. Um, she got this one, so this is Mind Your Business. I'm intrigued, the Kylie lip kits always come with a lipstick and a matching lip liner, which I like that. I love a good lip kit. Ugh. I like that shade, you guys. It looks good. And then here's the lipstick. Ah, it's like a deep mauve. Okay, here, lipstick, Carla has definitely improved from when I first bought these. Just shit on a brand forever, you guys. We gotta give them a chance, especially if they improve things, cause you know, Growth is important. It still has that distinct smell that I don't like, but the formula is so much better. It's much more wearable, much more comfortable. I remember her first kit, I didn't really like it too much because I felt it was like kind of like very gunky, but this goes on smooth and nice. Milk Makeup came out with the Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. It is alcohol free. It says shake well when spray, so alcohol free. I'm here for it. And what else does it say? It doesn't say much. <laughs> this is just like a try trying new makeup type of moment. Um, but look, I'm gonna spray it. This is so pretty. Look at so pretty. Let's see. I hope the spray quality is good. Oh yes, it is. Oh, it feels so good. Oh yes feels so refreshed. Oh my God, it's a refreshing spray. It felt so refreshing. Talk about refreshed. I feel like I just woke up like a well rest from well rested sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself one more time because it felt so good. Oh my gosh, I am not going to be able to keep this. This is gonna be done quick. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. It's very everyday, easy glam. Like this is a look I would wear. This is like my everyday glam pretty much. So I wanna go ahead and talk about the products that I have on today, that I put on today. So I'm gonna start with the lips cause it's the first thing in front of me. I'm gonna say this Mind Your Business color is so cute. It's a really nice mauve type of brownish nude. I think this looks really good on brown skin tone. I have, for a universal reference, I have MAC NC42 skin tone. I'm more on a medium dark skin tone. So I think this lip was really good. This is a nice nude and I like it. Um, and I like the formula. 
it's not cracking. It went on really nice. I don't think it's gonna be like super strong staying power. Now you guys have to realize if you want a lipstick to be super strong staying power, it's gonna be really dry or it's gonna crack. So you have to like, I have yet to find like a super perfect lipstick yet. It's like, there's always, you got, I don't know. I don't know if perfection's a real thing. You always gotta give on something, right? Okay, so the next thing I tried on today was the Kylie Jenner Bronze Palette. It's on my eyes right now. I'm gonna say yes to this palette. I actually loved the mattes. It is a lot of mattes. It's mostly matte and just only a tad bit of um, shimmer, like two shades of shimmer. I think this is a great versatile palette for anyone who's really into the bronze look and they like bronze makeup. I definitely think this is higher quality than like ColourPop or Morphe. I know that's something that everybody was saying like, oh, you know, instead of buying Kylie, you could buy ColourPop or you could buy Morphe. All, I do think it's a slight more pigmented and a lot more better. Um, if you had to say, do I would I get Soft Glam Anastasia or would I get the Kylie? I'm gonna have to be real. I would get the Kylie because I feel like it just wore better on my eyes, especially if you have hooded eyes. I would go with this neutral palette. This bronze neutral palette would be a lot better for you. Okay, for the vitamin C serum, I do not... I'm not, I wasn't like super impressed by it. I feel like it was okay. It was a little thin for a serum for me. I like much more thicker, luxurious, watery serum. So it's a little light for me. So I was not a big fan of the Kylie Vitamin C Serum. I could skip on that. And I did the face moisturizer. I actually really, really like this. You could literally make this your daytime moisturizer and wear this with nothing on your face. Like when you want, want to do a no makeup makeup look, you could wear this Kylie Skin Face Moisturizer. I really like it. It has like a blurring effect. It just looks really nice. I don't think I would wear it at night, but for daytime, I would definitely make this a daytime moisturizer and you guys will see me using it. So uh, yeah, this is really good. I love the eye cream, you guys. The Kylie Skin Eye Cream was my one of my favorites to use. I love the applicator. Um, I felt like as soon as I put it on, it did like a brightening effect for my eyes and it did depuff my eyes and I like how that looked. So I was really here for the eye cream. I think the eye cream was great. Oh, and I also think the lip mask was really nice. That Kylie, Kylie lip mask was pretty good. It really hydrated my lips. It soaked into my lips. I didn't even have to wipe it on off because it like soaked in and just kept my lips feeling very hydrated. Maybe that's why I felt like the lip the lipstick, this matte lipstick looks really good and feels good because I already masked my lips. So that lip mask is really good. Okay, the star of the show today is going to be the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really, really like how it looks. It's very, very no makeup makeup vibe, very light, very fresh, but also gave me a very blurring effect. This is perfect to wear even when you're on your no makeup days. I would recommend putting this on because you could just put it on and you just kind of like look like you have this very silky complexion to your natural skin. And I really like that. So you don't have to go like super bare skin, but you can also wear things that are a little bit more translucent like this Tatcha Skin Primer or Skin Canvas and it just looks really nice. Like who doesn't want their skin to look silky set refresh spray uh i'm obsessed with it as soon as you put it on first of all the color is gorgeous and then you shake it up and it just becomes this like it just reminds me of the ocean and it just feels like it's gonna hydrate my skin so well and it does you spray it onto your skin it feels cooling it's a nice spray and then it also made my let my face have this refreshing hydrating feel to it so I am obsessed with it. All these products, of course, I'm going to try them on for the rest of the month. And, you know, they're going to be in my rotation. And then I'm going to do a favorites video and tell you what I finally fucking think about everything. <laughs> Sorry to be cursing. It's just like so much product. And I get really, really excited. And when I get really, really excited, I curse a little bit. I have a little potty mouth. So I also tried on the highlighter. Um, I'm going to say no to the highlighter because it's a little too glittery for me even though it's now like starting to blend in with my oils and it actually looks nice but i'm such a highlighter snob and i love highlighters so this was just not a highlighter that i would pick it just didn't really do much for me it is really pretty though the shade is really pretty the packaging is pretty everything about it is really pretty it just didn't look that good on my skin because i do have a little bit of texture on my cheeks and it emphasized my texture. So I'm gonna skip on the highlighter. But I there's a lot of other Kylie stuff that I really liked. I did not think I was gonna like Kylie's skin at all. I was shocked that I liked anything. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> it is actually good. So 
all the links will be down below. If you guys want to try anything, you can shop all of my links down below. I will see you guys in my next new makeup video. You guys, I'm going to have a lot of new makeup videos. I just realized I am so blessed to get so much PR makeup and I feel like I should film all of my PR makeup for you guys because I have so many products and I'm like, what am I doing? I should just be filming it, talking about it with you guys. Um, and just having fun on this channel. Who loves trying new makeup? I love trying new makeup. Anyways, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys so much. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.